Right, so the other day I was on the lathe and it kind of stopped working uh, when I it would turn. But uh, when I went to cut, it would uh, stop and usually that means the belt was gone. So I've got to change the belt. So I just thought I'd show you how to do that and also which belt you actually need for this machine and other ones that are very similar to it. <clears throat> so yeah, let's take a look around the back. Um, obviously make sure you've got your lathe unplugged when you do this because you need to take this panel off to be able to adjust the belt tension. And you've also got to obviously take the side panel off. Right, so it requires a three millimeter Allen wrench. Well, it does on this machine anyway. It may differ on other brands, I don't know. But you need to undo the six on the outside. And also, when you take this off, pay attention. There is an earth on this plate and you need to reattach that when you close the machine up because if not, it's not gonna be grounded and uh, then it could potentially be dangerous if there's an electrical fault at any time. I'll show you where that ground is. It's sandwiched in between the uh, this outer panel and the inner. You need to be careful when you take this off so you don't pull any of the wires. Just don't want to be tugging any wires off if we can help it. And also, uh, when you're doing this, even after it's turned off, I think there's capacitors in here, so there's still potentially, yeah, there's capacitor in there. There's a 450 volt capacitor there that's going to be charged up to 240 volts. So be very careful. And there, as you can see, there's that ground wire there, and that sandwiches down here or on the other side and make sure that the uh, metal work is scratched so it's got good contact on uh, both parts. Uh, this wasn't when I got it so I scraped that back and then that just sandwiches in between there when you reattach it, put the screw through and the ground strap and then screw it on. Take the side panel off. And the last time I brought one of these belts, I kept the label and stuck it on the side here. So it's a Polymax 5M375. In the book, for some reason, it says uh six five but the six five is a bit too tight and somebody else told me another size belt so i don't know if it differs between machines or not but on this machine it seems to be the uh 5m375 polymax belt you can buy them that one i was actually an original polymax and that was i think about it was nearly 20 pounds it was from a um, local um, hardware shop I was lucky to find one uh, but you can get them off Aliexpress I've, I've got um, another four of them coming at the moment because this is actually my last belt <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description down below just in case you're interested um, they're like about I think they're like seven pounds each seven eight pounds each uh, I've had pretty good luck with the Chinese ones in the past the unbranded ones so I've got no reason to think that they won't be okay. All right, so inside the back panel, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a nut there, and that's safe. Well, it is on mine, it's 13 mil. So you need to go in there and you need to undo that to loosen the tension. So 
I've loosened that off now. So here we are, you can see that the uh, belt has actually shredded. There's just a couple of uh, strand, reinforcing strands still holding it together. Uh, to take the tension off this pulley here, you need to use a, um, what spanner is this now? Eight mil, and just undo that nut there. Spin that back and then it'll push that way. And that'll take the tension off the belt. Now we should be able to pull that off. So yeah, as you can see, that's how they always go like that. Now we've got the new one here. And now we need to pull this pulley back and then wind this bolt in as far as you can get it by hand. And then you need to hold the Allen key and then tighten the nut in and that will pull the pulley this way and put tension onto the belt. Now how much tension you need should be that you can basically only just twist the belt because if not if it's too loose it's just gonna when you go to take a cut it will just um the belt will skid on the pulleys so you want it so it will just twist And that's for both of them as well, you need to make sure. So you don't want to over tighten them because if not the belts uh, <laughs> don't last very long at all. That's about right. And now just go in the back here and make sure you tighten the pulley back down because if not you'll get a lot of vibration and you'll wonder why. It's lucky I keep this in low speed because I don't want to keep changing this taking the back off all the time. There must be another way of doing this that would be easier, really. It's a bit of a pain, that is. Yeah, that's about right. And then put the back panel back in. Make sure you get the earth. Right, so we've got it plugged in. Um, let's test it. Go back in action. Yeah, so that's how easy it is to change the belt on the MX210 lathe. So once again, that was a 
Polymax 5M375. I'll put a link in the description to um, the ones what I, um, which I've been buying off um, AliExpress, just in case anybody's interested. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.